Hello, and here we are at a Total War Medieval 2 clan battle replay. Hmm. So this is from the Medieval Clan Wars tournament. And we have Otike Bapo and Otike Boislav, or commonly known as Bobby, playing against two members of ARM. So Bapo's brought Venice, it's in all periods, and Bobby as port brought Portugal. Uh, Bapo should have brought Portugal really, what's going on there? Interestingly, uh, we've got the Carrocchio Standard, which is a morale booster, another unit I ever like, mainly because of its lack of mobility. Anything unusual in Bobby's army? Yeah, well, we see the Pavisa crossbow. I'm not entirely sure they're a cost-effective unit. Both of them have brought them. Dismounted Conquistadores. It's an interesting little technique by Bobby. And the spears right in front of the um, mounted Conquistadores. No, not spears, sorry, dismounted Portuguese knights. Here we go. The enemy have been revealed. We have Haas 4 playing as Spain. Great faction for all era. And we have Branca Leone playing as Sicily. Um, not convinced Sicily is a great faction. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pavis Crossbow. Like four police crossbow for Spain. So everyone's brought police crossbow, and I'm, I like I say, I'm not convinced by them, considering how much they cost. Are they the most cost effective unit? Well, we'll see. We'll see. He's got these sergeant spearmen. Oh, nice charge there by Bapo. It's getting in on the police. He wants to charge, get out if he can. He's maybe staying in a little too long with that light cavalry. There we go. He's got out. And a nice recharge. Oh. Okay. Bapo has taken the initiative here. And as you can see, the Sergeant Spearman routed fairly quick. He's, he's got to be wary of counter charges from these chivalric knights. But my word, Bapo has absolutely... It's into him like uh, it's into Branca Leone like an hammer. We see there Bobby starting to uh, engage with Spain. I was wondering if he could have oh had a cross moment behind Bobby's army. That's not so great for Bobby. Well, I'm wondering if um, Bobby could have come across more and doubled up on Sicily. When you get a, an army this disorganised this early on. You want to take advantage of it, but, you know, it's going well. We'll see what happens. We'll come across here for a bit. Nice charges by Spain. These Conquistadors are a bit isolated for Bobby, and these Pavis are exposed. That's, that's not great positioning by Bobby. But he's managed to pull back a couple. Taking a little bit of damage, but nothing too great. But yeah, he didn't want to lose all those men to the charge. And again, he's going to lose a few more. So, although things are going well for RTK over on the far flank, they're not going so great in the Spain-Portugal fight. Let's see how uh, Bapo's... The enemy are great. badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Well, that little comment tells me that Sicily is indeed taken. We are time. blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. And that's the Sicilian general. So, Branca Leone, this arm player, is in big trouble. I always felt Sicily was the weak link of the four factions. And that's on paper. You've got to have the ability and the knowledge to 
to make that count. You know, paper advantage ultimately means nothing. And Spain, Portugal seems to be have reached a, a fairly a, a bit of a stalemate. As each side, I, oh, oh, there's um losing a few units, but nothing great. What we do see that's good from Bobby is he is supporting Bapo's right flank. It's good awareness by RTK to see that Sicily are in trouble. And if they can take them off the field, they get a two on one. So the removal of Sicily is going well. And for anyone that wasn't aware, um, cavalry is king in medieval two total war. If you can keep your cav alive, you should win the match. Bobby's got um, a few dismounted conquistadors. Oh, he's just realised there. And also, they're going to need Cav to mop up these Pavis crossbowmen of Spain. So we see Sicily losing a couple more units. There goes another dismounted broken lancers. It's a pipe militia <laughs> from Bobby. He's trying to find the rear of Only her. half the enemy force remains. <clears throat> the rear of some unit there. And that, you just heard the speech come across again. That shows how quickly a stalemate, when supported by your ally, can decimate. And um, a stalemate quickly turns to a steamroller. A Spain now is having to fight on two flanks. He's fighting against Bobby from the front, as he always was. But Bapo has been able to turn his whole army... It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle. And, my lord, only half our force remains. So that's Bapo lost half of his army, but he's in a great position. Bobby's still got quite a lot left. As the envelopment takes place, I can't the enemy see much general from Sicily. Flee. Glorious heaven above! Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard oh. him well. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. As you can see, um, that's what happens when your general dies. You can get a mass rout, and now it is just a matter of trying to catch. The missile units, which I, well, Bobby has gone in on this one. There's a lot of um, <laughs> infantry charging up to these police crossbowmen. I think by this stage, Arm um, had given up the fight and um, they realised there was no point trying to kite this army. Branca Leone. Bringing up Sicilians to uh, the enemy flees the battle. Run Babo's down Pipe those militia. worthless peasants! And ironically, it is Spain that flees first. Sicily still got these last two units: dismounted broken lances and dismounted Norman knights. It's fighting away, but it's it's, it's game over. It's um. He's fighting on for pride. But it's been a good battle. In truth... All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. This battle was decided very early on, and unless there had been a calamitous disaster by the RTK boys, just the damage that Bapo did with that initial charge, spotting the vulnerability and of, of the of those Pavis crossbowmen and the the sergeant spearmen. It was a great initial charge and it made the rest of the battle fairly easy for for RTK, but it, 
it was it was tight and Haas Haas held Bobby off extremely well and if if that was a one v one battle I'd, it, it would have been a toss of a coin I think um, but it wasn't Otto K showed great teamwork. This was uh, best of three, and this was the first battle, so hopefully we will see you soon for the second. Thank you for watching. Take care.